Remember, starting any cabinet project with the right tools will make your job much easier. Adding a wine rack to your already beautiful kitchen makes it that much better. Start the assembly by carefully opening the box at each end. Lift the back a little bit. That way you won't damage the contents. Unpack slowly, taking your time looking over each piece so you can become familiar with what parts that you're going to be working with. These are the tops and bottoms of the wine rack cabinet. And this beautiful piece is the glass holder. This grid holds the wine bottles. And this piece is the cabinet back. Open the hardware box and separate the hardware so you can become familiar with each piece. These are set pins. They're one side of the interlock system. These are set screws. These are the two sides of the wine rack and these are the holes where the interlock pins go. Start by placing an interlock set pin into each of the holes provided for them. you put a set pin in each one of these holes and remember that your cabinet has two sides so what you do to one side you're going to have to do to the other so put the set pins into all the holes on both sides of your wine rack This style of cabinet is a face frame cabinet. And these are the locations for the set pins. This is the groove where the face frame fits over the cabinet. Locate the holes in the face frame and place some set pins. Now that you've put all the set pins into place on all the pieces, it's time to go back and start with one of the cabinet sides, and then take either the top or the bottom and lay it over the set pins. Now it's time to take a flathead screwdriver and twist the inner locks into place. They secure the cabinet bottom or top over the set pins. cabinet top and bottom are almost identical, so what you do to one, you have to do to the other. So find the other piece and place it over the set pins and tighten down those interlocks. Now that one side and the top and bottom are in place, it's time to slide the back in. Slide it over the set pins.
give it a little tap to make sure it's secure. And take a flathead screwdriver and tighten down the interlocks. Now that the back is in place, your cabinet box is almost complete. You have to attach the other side, line it up, and it should slide right into place. Give it a gentle tap to make sure that everything is secure, and tighten down those interlocks. The interlocks themselves are quite strong, but this wine rack may hold a lot of weight, so there are some additional set screws which hold the whole thing together. If you see an open hole in the back of the cabinet, make sure to fill it with a set screw. Once you've placed all the set screws into the back, flip the cabinet box over. And now it's time to slide in the grid that holds the wine bottles. There are two grids for this wine rack. This one goes into the back. And now it's time to set the face frame. This is easily done when the cabinet is sitting on its back. Just align the holes with the set pins. Gently slide the face frame into place. Then remember those interlocks. The wine rack itself has two parts. This is the front grid. Gently snap it into place. Make sure you have the bottom of the cabinet facing up, and now it's time to slide in the glass holder. few quick taps with the rubber mallet and the glass holder is aligned just perfectly so you can attach it.